Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and in today's video We're gonna be going over some awesome deals available on Steam games right now Some of these deals directly from Steam some of them third-party key sellers all reputable We've got a couple deals from humble and a great deal on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 a bundle over at Fanatical But also before we get to those deals which are all under five dollars There is also a free game offering available right now over at Indiegala another one of their DRM freebies So this one doesn't redeem on Steam, but I wanted to give this a mention as well as it's a game that's available on Steam and it typically goes for $15 and that's Memoranda. Memoranda is a 2D point and click adventure game inspired by author Haruki Murakami's surreal short stories. The game tells the story of a young lady who gradually realizes that she is forgetting her own name. Is she really losing her memory or is there something else that could explain the strange circumstances? The story happens in a quiet little town where a few ordinary and strange characters live together, including a World War II surviving soldier to an elephant taking shelter in a man's cottage hoping to become human human. There is one thing all of these characters have in common, they are losing something. It could be a name, a husband, or even someone's sanity. Again, typically goes for $15, released all the way back in January of 2017. Does have a 58 on Metacritic, so it wasn't super well received. Steam reviews are a little bit more positive, 66 reviews at 71% positive. But right now, it's free over at Indiegala, so I'll leave a link to that. You just download it directly to your PC, and you can play it. Again, no Steam key, so that's a little bit of a bummer for some of you guys. However, considering it's free, really shouldn't be a point of contention. All Alright, so with that being said, let's move on to all of the deals that are available right now. Again, 10 deals and all of these under $5, so let's kick it off with the two Humble bundles I want to give a shout to. We'll go through these quickly. The Humble Curve Digital Bundle, again, essentially recommending the $1 tier. There is a Beat the Average tier and a third tier also available for these bundles, but the $1 tier for the Curve Digital Bundle will get you Stealth Ink 2, A Game of Clones, The Little Acre, as well as Serial Cleaner. The one game I'm really familiar with is Stealth Ink 2. Thought that the game was really good, but actually that is the worst received games in terms of Steam reception. The Little Acre is received very well, as is the Serial Cleaner. All three of those games for a buck seems pretty good. Next up, the Humble Strategy Bundle 2019 is also available, and of course three tiers with that. Some of you guys will want to get to the $15 tier to get Sid Meier Civilization 6. If you want to do that, knock yourself out. However, the Pay $1 or More tier gets you Ashes of the Singularity, Throne of Lies, the Online Game of Deceit, and the Nisha Genetic Survival Game. All three of those for a buck, again, pretty good, especially with Ashes of the Singularity being a pretty notable title. So check that out as well. I'm not going to go over each tier by tier because those will knock it above $5, but you can have a look at that for yourself as well. Of course, I am partnered by Humble, so I get a little bit of a kickback, but their products are generally pretty easy to recommend given the value that you get. So links to that in the description box down below, and you'll be supporting the channel. Moving on from that, as I mentioned at the top, Fanatical's got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 pack down to $2.99. So this is their store deal right now. It looks like around 25% of of their available keys have already been sold, but still a reasonable amount left. So by the time you're watching this video, hopefully it's still in stock. $2.99 for both Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 is really good. I believe when these games are on sale on Steam, they're around $2.50, so you do save a little bit of money. Knights of the Old Republic 1, it seems like people have had issues with that on PC. Personally speaking, I played through the entirety of that game pretty recently on PC and I had no issues, but that's just anecdotal evidence and it does seem like there are a lot of fixes online, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. As far as Knights of the Old Republic 2, two goes. I've heard no issues about that. A couple of my friends played through that game as well and they had no issues. So it looks like as far as a PC experience goes, that's going to be the better one in terms of modern PCs. I did personally think that KOTOR 1 was a better game, but both games are really good. Obviously a little bit dated at this point, but still worthwhile to go back and play through. All right. So those are the three deals outside of Steam. Now we've got seven deals running on Steam as well. A lot of great deals on Steam with the Ubisoft publisher sale. A bunch of Square Enix games are still discounted. So a lot of stuff under $5.00 over there and let's get into it. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is 85% off for $4.49. All of the Deus Ex games are on sale. So if you're just getting into the series, I would recommend you to start off with Human Revolution. Some of the older games are really good. However, they're just a little bit too dated at this point. And in terms of accessibility to a modern gamer, I just don't think that's the right way to get into the franchise. Human Revolution is really good. Mankind Divided. Unfortunately, I didn't like it as much as Human Revolution. I did think some of the elements were better from a gameplay standpoint. I think it's really strong storytelling, not as strong in Mankind Divided. PC performance was a little bit of an issue at launch. Recently, I did play a little bit of the game and it worked pretty well. 
And at $4.49, of course, it's far cheaper than that initial $60 price point. I would still give it a look if you're looking for a quality action RPG. But again, if you're looking to get into the series, Human Revolution is a great starting point. Just Cause 3 is seeing a steep discount right now. It is 85% off for just $2.99. Great price on this. Just Cause 3, of course, another game that had its fair share of issues on PC at launch. But since its launch, it's gotten a lot better. The other Just Cause games are on sale as well. Just Cause 2 is $1.49. That's not a bad buy, but fundamentally... I would say JC3 is the better game. You guys might be wondering about Just Cause 4. I've said it before, but that game's a pretty big train wreck. It's a step backwards from Just Cause 3 in terms of the actual game. Performance isn't anything to write home about, and it's at $30. So if you're just looking for a fun, no-nonsense open-world title, Just Cause 3 is the route to go here. $3 for that is really great. And I do believe they have the XXL edition, which adds a lot of extra content. There's a lot of in-game items and whatnot. That's $7.49, so a little bit more expensive. I would probably just stick to the base game. And you're going to have a rather good time with that. Okay, lastly for the Square Enix deal, Sleeping Dogs, the Definitive Edition, a game that I always go to bat for. 85% off for $4.49. Man, oh man, I can say so many good things about this game. I am just so sad that this game wasn't received better than it was released back in 2013. And back when this game was released, it was one of the go-to games in terms of benchmarking your PC because visually it was a stunning game all these years later. It still looks really, really good, and now that it's available for $4.49, and you're getting the Definitive Edition with a bunch of extra content, it is a no-brainer. A lot of people will say it's Grand Theft Auto in Hong Kong. It is absolutely not that. Yes, I can see the similarities to an extent being a crime-driven game. However, it's more of a contained open world. It's more focused on its narrative. It's more focused on its hand-to-hand -hand combat. And again, it's just a more contained experience. It's so good, though. Great story, great voice acting. Visuals are still good. It's really incredible how much of a steal this game is at $4.49, and probably out of any game on this list, this is the best deal. It's such a good game, and if you've yet to get it, definitely fix that. All right, we got a couple games from the Ubisoft sale as well. Watch Dogs 1 is 90% off down to $2.99. Another game that had its fair share of issues on PC at launch. I remember bugging out about this game back in 2014. If you want to dig up those old videos, you can take a look. But the performance in this game was a nightmare. And being the fact that gamers were super, super excited for the game. Heading into this generation of games, Watch Dogs was one of the hotly anticipated games. And unfortunately... It just did not deliver. However, all these years later, performance is still a little bit of an issue, but now that it's down to $3, I would give Watch Dogs a look because fundamentally it has some very interesting concepts. And obviously that was propelled in Watch Dogs 2, which I think is a considerable improvement upon the first game. However, the first game still isn't bad. The second game is $9, so it's literally triple the price of the first game. So if you just want to get into Watch Dogs, the first game for three bucks isn't bad. And if you at least like the fundamentals and the premise of Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2, again, a substantial improvement. I often compare Watch Watch Dogs 2 to what Assassin's Creed 2 did for Assassin's Creed in that the first Assassin's Creed game had its issues but then Assassin's Creed 2 made the game so much better. Watch Dogs 2 is very comparable in that sense but Watch Dogs 1 90% off for three bucks. You really can't go wrong considering how little you're spending. Next up we have one of my favorite games in recent memory a little bit of an underrated gem Valiant Hearts The Great War. It is 70% off for $4.49. Would I like to see this a little bit cheaper? Yeah, it's a little bit on the older side at this point. Don't think it's selling a lot of copies, but nonetheless, this is a terrific game. It's a side-scrolling war game with a great art style, a great story, a very emotional and moving game. By the way, it is set in World War I and really does that time period justice, especially in how it portrays its story and the grim nature of the game. It is a little bit of a mix of action and puzzles, and puzzles always turn me off from games, but in this case, I think they were implemented generally pretty well. If you've yet to check out Valiant Hearts back in 2014 this game was on the rage everyone was talking about it but now in 2019 I feel like it really doesn't get that recognition as one of those iconic downloadable and smaller titles however Valiant Hearts definitely deserves praise and the people that have played it on Steam love it because it does have an overwhelmingly positive reception 95% positive reviews and whenever you see overwhelmingly positive that kind of says something about the quality of the game if you want to use Steam reviews as a barometer to judge quality however take it from me it is a terrific game next up another little bit of a hidden gem this is really old, an 11-year-old game, but Prince of Persia 2008 was such a good game. I think this game is incredibly underrated. It had a great art style, story was pretty good, gameplay was good, although there were some issues with its camera. That always put me off a little bit, but right now it's 66% off for $3.39. They typically sell it for just $9.99. A base price of $9.99 is pretty freaking low. And just a gorgeous action game. I really want to see Prince of Persia make a comeback. This one Ubisoft franchise that I would like to see them dig up. Y'all been milking Assassin's Creed. I know Watch Dogs 3 is on the horizon, but give me a new Prince of Persia and make it something like this, and I'll be all over that. If you haven't checked out this game, I would recommend
recommend you to do so. And I played through this pretty recently. Yes, it does have some dated elements being 11 years old, but I still found it to be a rather compelling experience and 339 for it is pretty freaking good. And lastly, outside of the Square Enix and Ubisoft deals that are available, a hidden deal over on Steam is also Killer is Dead Nightmare Edition. This was a game that released a while ago on last generation platforms, and it was actually a Suda51 title. Suda51 has done some pretty cool games. I recall Shadows of the Dam, No More Heroes, and Killer is Dead is a pretty stylish action game as well. A little bit dated at this point with some of its elements if you compare it to modern action titles like Devil May Cry 5. DMC5 obviously a step above Killer is Dead. However, it's also 15 times more expensive considering Killer is Dead is $4. This is a pretty good price if you want a quality hack and slash title with a slick art style, slick presentation. If you know what Suda51 is about, it's all about zany gameplay presentation and you get that with Killer is Dead. They also added some new modes in this version on PC. So that's pretty cool as well. Initially, if you drop $60 on this game on last generation platforms. I could see why you would be a little bit disappointed, but at four bucks, again, a quality and stylish action title. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. Again, a lot of great deals available, and I wanted to highlight the deals for those of you that are on a budget, or maybe you got some Steam trading cards and you can just sell them and then pick one of these games up because that's how cheap they are, especially with games like Watch Dogs 1 being $3. Have to recommend Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. It's such a great game. And then also do remember over at Indie Gala, Memo Ronda is available free. The Humble Bundles are quite good and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2 pack pretty good as well. Links to everything will be in the description box down below. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.